Welcome to vacuum desiccation. Vacuum desiccation is a technique that allows you to remove residual solvent and water traces to obtain a dry solid. You put the solids on a clock glass, which you have to cover with another smaller clock or watch glass, which prevents it from being blown around later on when you vent the desiccator. So you put your substance into the desiccator put on the lids tightly and then you put the safety netting around to protect you from the hazard of a possible implosion. Then you connect the inlet of the desiccator to the vacuum line. Next step is to open the grey tap which is the vacuum tap fully and you can hear the noise of air being sucked through the tap so close the white tap and finally at the desiccator inlet open the tap and again you can hear air being sucked out. Once that noise has ceased, the whole apparatus is under vacuum. Once your desiccation has finished, after the prescribed amount of time, you shut the tap by the desiccator, then you close the grey tap for the vacuum line, and finally you open the white tap to vent the system, and disconnect the vacuum tubing from your desiccator. To vent the desiccator slowly, you put a filter paper on top of the inlet and carefully open the tap of the desiccator. In this way, the air that flows in flows in very slowly and doesn't disturb any of the contents of the desiccator. The venting of the system will take some time and you will realize that it's finished once the filter paper falls off on its own, which has happened now. At that point you can open the desiccator. So remove the safety netting and the lids. Then you can take out your substance of the desiccator. The important part now to remember is to replace the lid and shut the inlets. That keeps the desiccants dry and we don't have to change it frequently. When you are finished you end up with a substance like that that is entirely dry now.